Geminis, welcome to your tarot reading. So one of the first things that I'm getting for the uh, for you guys uh, for the next two weeks is that um, for those of you who are in an existing relationship, there is going to be somebody from the past coming back in that will test whether or not you are going to stay in your existing relationship, okay? This can be a childhood crush. This can be an ex. This can be, as well, uh, the person that you're dating. If you're in a relationship right now, it could be their ex. So I feel like there's somebody uh, from the past um, showing up and they're not soliciting you or they're not soliciting the person that you're involved with. But I feel like this energy is throwing a little bit of a wrench in the works to see if your current relationship is still bringing you that sense of emotional fulfillment. OK, so that's what I'm sensing. So there's kind of like, you know, somebody for coming back from the past that you might have had um, a relationship with prior. And I feel that is really testing whether or not you, you still are happy currently with the person that you're with or you want to go back to them. And I feel like they're coming to see you from a distance. Um, so like geographically, you might be um, outside of each other's uh, location. You're not in the same city. So I feel like they're in town for a short period of time or you're in town for a short period of time. And then for others of you who are not dealing with this, I do feel a very, very strong relationship that is uh, developing between you and another person. And what I'm sensing with this person is that they have a lot of uh, wealth. They're quite successful. They're, they're quite ambitious, very goal oriented. And uh, I'm seeing a situation where two people are coming together who are whole in themselves so it's like you've got your own thing they've got their own thing and so the relationship is very dynamic because there isn't uh, codependency there isn't you know toxic energy both people have their own lives have their own friends have their own social networks and they have their own uh, interests so you come together in a really beautiful harmonious way uh, I'm also seeing lack of compatibility, but I'm also feeling that, you know, compatibility is important uh, in relationships. But I'm seeing that, you know, you might not see eye to eye on a lot of things with this person, but you both are able to uh, invite the other person to openly discuss things, to pick their brains, to figure out their perspective. So I feel like the relationship is bu built on mutual growth. It's built on stability and it's built on a really good foundation of mutual respect, camaraderie, friendship, and, you know, um, having a tremendous uh, amount of love and dedication for another person. So overall, it looks really good. And I feel like some of you might be at a distance from this person as well. Um, the next aspect here deals with your professional life. So this is your public image, okay? Um, I'm feeling that you yourself as a standalone character, uh, you're going to be heavily tested. So I, I'm, I'm feeling that, you know, career wise, your financial situation is in really, really good spending. But they, they keep saying something here about, you know, having to talk to other people about where your money is going, how your money is being spent. So I feel a little bit of scrutiny um, regarding how you're making your money where money is spent and where exactly it's going. So I, I do feel that el element in the picture. But on the other hand, you're in a really good financial space right now. So, you know, it is also tax season in the States. So some of you are grappling with, you know, dealing with accountants, dealing with, you know, trying to get all your, ass your assets in order, receipts and all of that, the paper trail in order to do your taxes. So that might be just something that's coming through. And, um, so I feel like you're going to have to, you know, fix some things or you're going to have to rectify some errors that was done uh, regarding your financial situation. And then I'm also feeling as well. Um, I'm also seeing like there is either spousal support, alimony, child custody that's coming into the picture. And I feel like um, it's almost as if so let, let's just say if you have children or if you're paying alimony for another person, uh, they might come in to to ask you to you know increase the payment i don't feel like they're decreasing or asking you to decrease but i feel like you're gonna have to readjust the amount that is coming out to the other person okay so it could be child rearing it could be like child custody or it could be alimony but they're demanding some type of an increase mainly because they've fallen on some hard times so if you have the money to spare i feel like they are genuine 
And then additionally, I'm seeing some of you are kind of like on the tail end of a divorce situation. So there's still assets being divided up. There's still paper that you're gathering, but I feel like it's on its way out. Okay. It, it's, um, it's a divorce or like a separation that you're dealing with. I feel for some of you, it's a divorce and then liquidating your assets, selling property, selling real estate, selling, uh, furniture. Even I'm seeing a lot of people that might an collect like antiques. And so you're going to encounter some surprising information. If you go off and try to sell some antiques, you might figure out that, you know, the value is actually a lot more than you thought. So we have some nice things, lucky things coming through in the picture. But I feel a lot of you are wrapping up divorce uh, trials um, or you're selling, liquidating your assets in order to divide up the, the, the profits between you and your partner or your former partner. And the last thing that's coming through, I see a new uh, person that's emerging in your life, okay? So first of all, we have here a fire sign. So this is a Sagittarius, an Aries or a Leo, uh, sun, moon, or rising. He or she shows up here as the knight of rods, the knight of wands. And I feel almost as if this might have been somebody that you were really interested in in the past. And for whatever reason, the timing wasn't right. And so I feel like there is a do-over with this person. So it could be that other person that I mentioned, you know, who's coming back from the past to really test whether or not you are happy in your current relationship. So I feel like there's a do-over here. A second chance, you know, this is something that is quite faded, quite karmic as well. A second chance, a do-over with a fire sign. Sagittarius, Aries or Leo, sun, moon or rising. And I do sense there's going to be a lot of discussion between the two of you. And I feel that you both are very hesitant about taking that first step because you don't know their relationship status. They likewise don't know your relationship status. And so for the next two weeks, I feel like they're heavily coming through. There's a lot of communication. There's also that, you know... Um, very covert like flirtation between you and them so that looks really good and i feel like you know they're ready to be in a relationship and they're actually quite uh quite successful um really fun loving really fun um person to hang out with have you know conversations with have coffee with they're a really good person and i feel like they're ready for a relationship and that's what they're seeking right now okay so you have some really good cards coming in uh gemini's um just be a little bit careful when it comes to let me see just the work situation okay but everything else looks really promising i'll talk to you soon take care bye bye